welcome to another episode of Travel with the Stars. Thanks for joining us each week. And um, if you have been joining us, you know that I'm your host, Jen. Hey, um, owner and founder of Upon a Star Travel. And as per the usual, I have some amazing star agents here with me today. And we're going to talk about everybody's favorite subject, um, food. So um, let's go first. Let's let's introduce you to our to our new faces to the show. Uh, down to my bottom um, left, I've got Emily Emily Schweiger. It's new last yes. name. So hi Emily. Hi. <laughs> and then down to my bottom right, I have Jessica Levine. Hi Jessica. Hi. And then, of course, we have uh, some returning faces here to my left. Um, you see Heather Condes. Hello. And over on my other side, I have Kyla Melberg. Hey. Hey. So, all right. Food. And very specifically today, because if we talk about food in Disney, I think we can all agree, like, there's just a lot of... <laughs> Like, I know I'm there for the treats. I'm there for the food. Like, really? Uh, we could do a whole thing on any sort of restaurant, on character dining, on whatever. But we are going to focus in today on seasonal treats and festival eats. Um, because <laughs> festival eats, guys, guys. The best. Seriously. So good. Okay. Um, let's start there. Food and Wine Festival now in full swing. I know, like it started. Wow, July, right? Did I? Did any of you Floridians yeah. go in July? No. So it started in July and it goes to November eighteenth this year, which is like bananas that it's so long. Um, but in July, not all of the booths were open, and I believe now they all are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. I also love that you had the little booklet. At arm's reach. <laughs> well, I mean, just for reference, Kyla, there's so much going on. You can't remember it all. I love it. Accurate. Does this year's because I have a video? Do they have the stickers where you could like put the stickers? I think on... so. Yeah. They have like oh. stickers. They have a map this year where you like pick what you're in the mood for and then it tells you where to go. Ooh, I like, like that. savory. Yeah, or it's sweet like a fold out map. Salty. There you oh, go. There is a fold out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Yes. But what? no, I don't see any stickers this year. Oh, that's sad. I do. I always enjoy putting the stickers next to what I've had. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like fun. It actually used to be fun to collect and be like, okay, can I have my stamp? And then, but that was holding up the line. So I totally get it. But I like the fold out map plussing up the, uh, the passports this year. So yeah. um, now, so some of you went in, in July. Now it's fully open. Um, I know at least one of you has done the cheese crawl. So we're going to talk about that as well. <laughs> All right. Let's go with Emily. Yeah. What do you love about Food and Wine Festival? Okay. So, I are, are we doing what do I love about the food festival or what food do I love because you know let's start with <laughs> what in general food. let's start with what in general do you love because we're going to get to food in a minute <laughs> so okay so so I love like I either tonight or tomorrow night we're going to go over and it's just going to be nighttime and it's just fun to walk through each country and have just different options and the countries that aren't represented usually you know in yeah. the pavilions and so it's just a new way to explore Epcot. And it's just, hmm. and then you've got the eat to the beat and that's just super fun. That's awesome. I love it. And I love like, because at night at this time of year, it starts getting a little cooler in the evenings and you kind of, you kind of get a fall vibe, so, mm. which is nice. <laughs> so that's what, that's what I love. I just love the whole, I just love the whole, the whole thing of just walking around. Cause I love Epcot at night too. I mean, yeah. you know. It's just so beautiful with the trees. And then you just, it's a new way to drink around the world. And who doesn't love that? It's Kyla's I love that you said fall. <laughs> Besides Disney Springs. Besides Disney Springs. <laughs> but yes. Emily, I love that you said fall vibe. Because is it like 85 there today? Because it's you like 50 it here today. Get I get very angry when there's like fall leaves are greeting. Because I'm like, we don't have that here. What are you doing? But it's <laughs> But it feels like it's like you have you have some pumpkins, you have some fall flavors. Mm -hmm, it's like mm -hmm. eighty-five at night compared to ninety-five during the day. The humidity it is. is like 
sixty percent as opposed to seventy five. Like, it's freezing up here. And you can you can bring a sweatshirt. You don't need to wear it, but you can like maybe bring a denim jacket. Tied around your waist just so you feel exactly <laughs> makes you feel a certain way. You see people like be putting on the sweatshirt tonight. Yeah, you yeah. see people putting on the sweatshirt for just a social media post, and then they're like just ripping it off because nobody's so wearing a sweatshirt. So hot. Nobody. So hot. Nobody is wearing a sweatshirt and eating <laughs> soup. Nobody. Oh, no spirit jerseys. No spirit jerseys. No, no thank you. No. <laughs> Jessica, is there something you want to add to about the fall vibes or what you love? <laughs> I mean, I will say to Emily's point, you do get a nice breeze from the lake. So, like, it gives you, like, a winter of fall. I see where she's coming from. But Thank uh, you. You're welcome. Um, but, no, I just love, like, the global, like, unity of, of Epcot in general. Mm-hmm. But, like, also, like, well, Emily said that there's so many countries that aren't represented in pavilions that are represented during the festivals. And that, I think, is really special because yeah. it's something different. Well, first of all, every festival at Epcot is so wildly different. So it's not just, like, the same thing over and over again. Like, there's such a nice variety at Epcot that I think makes people want to keep coming back because there's always something new. And then they always change the food. They keep, like, the staples, mm-hmm. of course, like, the fan favorites. But I think Disney does a really good job of switching things out so that there's always something new to try. And now, now any of you could really speak to this, but I'm going to start with Heather and Kyla here. Uh, when it comes to kids at the festival, but why do I want to bring my kids to Food and Wine Festival? Are they going to enjoy it? Is there anything for them to do? Aren't they going to be bored? Heather, let's start with uh, with you. If I turn my head, it's, it's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it also goes back to like the whole passport thing. They love reading the menus and marking them off, which ones they think they're going to like. And then when they present it, they get their little stamp because they're on like a mission to get the (laughs) free prize at the end because nobody knows what it's going to be every year. So they love doing that and like trying new things. Now there are some things which I love. I feel that we should make like an outtake video of it, of like the things that they hate because they're like you know what I mean but it also gives them an experience to like try new things like the world doesn't revolve around hamburgers chicken nuggets and ramen noodles you know so it like I I don't know they love it they they absolutely love it all right Kyla about your same same girl they are the they are Heather's children, but not Chinese. Like they are the <laughs> same kids. They love trying new things. They are on like a mission to make it around the world. Like they love the um the kid cut stops. They love like we did the cheese crawl, like you mentioned. This was the first time we did it in August. And they were like, Where's the next cheese thing? Like we uh-huh. gotta get our stamp and then we get like the free surprise dessert or whatever it was. Um So they love that. Like they just, they love trying new things. They love trying all the drinks and they just have such a blast. Like they just love Epcot anyway. And then to go Mm -hmm. during a festival, like they love the extras, the scavenger hunt and the cheese crawl. Those are like, Mm -hmm. those are top for food and Mm -hmm. wine. So you're, you just mentioned the cheese crawl and people were like, okay, what are you talking about? Cheese crawl. So (laughs) since you're, has anybody else done it or just Kyla? Uh, Yes. Oh, oh, you guys have both done it. Okay. Emily. Did you get the dessert this year? It's so good. Not yet. The dessert. I'm I'm so mad that they are it's not so just good. serving that. <laughs> Wait, yeah, and you have to do the cheese crawl. They get it. It's mm-hmm. oh, my 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 souvenir cups over there. Um, it's a strawberry cheesecake Dole Whip with like crumbled graham cracker on top and like the cutest little souvenir cup. Mm-hmm. What's well, like a stemless like plastic wine glass? Yeah, okay, don't, put, right it in back, don't put it in the dishwasher. Don't put it in the dishwasher. Nobody bother me. Jessica's going to Epcot. There you go. <laughs> she's 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 crawling. Crawling. 1038. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Might be a little heavy. Yeah, like cheesy fine. bread. The, what's the griddled cheese? Is that in Greece? <gasps> it like, is. that's it's delicious. The pistachios and the honey. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Um, yeah. So good. So it's called the Emile's Fromage Montage for Food and Wine Festival. So, and then you just Sorry. like have your your option to get like five of the 10 options and you get a little stamp and then you get your dessert. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that was a lot of cheese in one day. <laughs> it is. Emily, it sounds like you're breaking it up since you're a local. <laughs> yes. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fully planning. I'm going to get my Remy shoulder sitter and I'm just going to go. And I think Monday is a good day to do that. Just drop the kids off at school and just go <laughs> take Remy and go on the cheese 
Yeah, she's yeah, just yeah. Just yeah. Eating cheese all day. Mommy, why aren't you hungry for dinner? <laughs> cheese in around Worry the world. <laughs> 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 Jessica and Emily, I want pictures. I want you two going around the world. Yes. I want you toasting that cheesecake dessert on Monday. Oh, don't tempt us with a good time, Jen. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is now on my list for November. But okay. Yeah. What are some of your must eats at Food & Wine? Whether it's like a recurring favorite or maybe like a new favorite. Because they do swap some things out every year. I know that... Um, Brady was ticked last time we were at Food and Wine because Australia did not have the lamington. Um, and it's, it's, which is a cake. It's like a coconut chocolate. Chocolate mm. cake with the raspberry filling. It's back. It was it back? Okay. Yeah. yeah. He was so ticked okay. when, there, when it wasn't down there. He was like, wait, come <laughs> Put it on the list for November. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's start. Jessica, what is your fav current favorite, either returning or brand new? So I always stop two places for sure. I stop in Mexico and I get a taco because mm. I have to have a taco mm -hmm. because I usually also have a blood orange margarita. And I have to stop <laughs> in China and get whatever dumpling they're serving oh. this year. The dumplings are just amazing. And then I also then go next door to the just the festival pavilion um, to the little cart in China yeah. and I get egg rolls because they're the most delicious egg rolls in the whole world. Oh, they're, so good. Those. they're so good. They're so good. And it's two for like $4. Yeah. It's the best deal. Oh, that's cheap. <laughs> yeah. It's, they're amazing. So that's, those are my two countries that I stop in every festival, not just food and wine is Mexico and China. There's just, oh, it's so good. Love it. All right, Emily, what are your faves this year or in general? Okay. So <clears throat> my always fave is the beer cheese soup. And the oh, filet at yes. Canada. Like, mm. it's like it's just, but I can't eat it when it's 90 degrees. It has to, <laughs> it has to feel a slight breeze. The lights <laughs> have to be on in Canada. It's a whole, I need the whole scene. The whole you need thing. the fall vibes. You need fall. I need the vibes. <laughs> I need the vibes. Like, my kids are so, raking leaves. And also, <laughs> like this, you do not have fall. <laughs> Our palm cheese just bloomed down here, guys. <laughs> yeah. Palm trees swayed a little bit. <laughs> the breeze. You just got new shoots. <laughs> I remember going to food and wine with Tyla and both of our girls. Remember, they were both in the double strollers. That was fun. Um, yes. And <laughs> yes. I was thinking we could make our way around food and wine fest. Um, I think we made like three boots with four. <laughs> We're pushing the shoulders, <laughs> and then the drinks are swashing out of the couple. <laughs> and again, but it's ninety the degrees, and you're falling. And I'm like, it's amazing. <laughs> Double strollers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Our... Yeah, we were a whole. We were a meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you can find footage or pictures of this. Mm -hmm. And we need to post it. Yeah. Mom's on a mission for food and wine, pushing double strollers, like drinks sloshing. I have like a plate of something in one hand, like throwing toys at the girls, like, here, here's some glow sticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. A good time. Oh. So, Kyla, what was your fave this year or in general? I generally go for the soup too. Like the Canadian soup, that is like my go-to. But the griddled cheese I mean, that is so, so good. good. Like Heather said, with the pistachios on top, like oh. it's so good. And then they usually have like a nice cocktail at the grease booth as well <laughs> to have with the griddled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a whole, pairing. It's a it's whole a, thing. It's, it's a, a nice vibe. pairing. Yes, I love that. <laughs> oh, wait, I know. Shimmering Sips, the, mm. the mimosa oh. flight. Mm. Of course. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Like that's cool. yeah. The Canadian soup and the mimosa flight. Maybe, maybe not necessarily together. <laughs> not no, no, no. <laughs> Mimosas in the morning, Canadian soup for lunch, and then maybe the grease pairing for dinner. The, okay. See? That's a that's a full day. We got a full day menu. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Heather, I do want to try you? those new booths. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, no. Yeah. Oh no. Well, we'll come back to the new booths. That's why we're yeah, going. We'll, we'll come back to that. Yes. yes. 
Mine is the filet every year because I love it. When they put that garlic butter on top and I'm just oh, like gosh, letting yes. it melt between that and the potatoes and the mushrooms, delicious. But mm -hmm. I am also obsessed with the fry flight. And this year they had pickle fries. <gasps> so good. Yeah, I'm my pickle girl. Drivers. So uh, good. Now, did, did they do the marshmallows on them this year? Because you're allergic to marshmallow. So, so fun fact. Um, if you have a marshmallow allergy, which is apparently a very rare allergy, um, the one that is the sweet potato fries that usually has it on there, they put a little stick in it and they say allergy friendly and the chef like whips you up your own and mine just tastes like sweet potato fries with, the, with cinnamon and nothing on top of them. And they're still amazing. So yes, mm. they can even do it. Allergy nice. friendly. See, that's good to know. So if you are, it, Disney does such a great job with food allergies. I mean, yeah. And I don't remember any of the kids have food allergies. We have Mine, thank allergies. goodness. My kids grew out of all of their food allergies. Thank oh, good. Goodness. But we dealt with peanut, tree nut, and shellfish. Oh, fun. geez. Oh, my oh and dairy. Yeah, we have point. peanut, yeah. tree nut, legume. Ooh. Yeah. But Disney does such a great job yeah. with, like, mm -hmm. you know, modifications. Yeah. So don't be afraid to ask if you want that festival food. Mm -hmm. You don't know. I don't know my current favorite festival food. Because I'm not, I haven't been down there yet. But I mean, I would say the cheese soup because I always love the cheese soup. Guys, this stuff is in Canada. Okay, we're going to have, we're going to have a moment. Who all loves to eat in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> Emily doesn't like, oh yeah. Just, <laughs> I do. Guys, hidden gem. Also, the, oh. Nope, go ahead. No, I was going to say, also, we haven't talked about the, um, the Bailey's milkshake in UK. Oh, yeah. Oh, in Ireland. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just got so excited about that. I forgot. So excited. It. <laughs> I buy it this for David every year. So one thing I'll buy him. <laughs> how many souvenir like, cups oh, do you have? I know. That one went in the dishwasher. That's how I learned they don't go in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> just shrivels right there, down. <laughs> there are like 50 some countries and so if you're like not used mm -hmm. to i mean if you're not used to that you're like wait ireland ireland's not an epcot it is right now mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. scotland is an epcot um shoot i can't even go through all of them I think hawaii, hawaii, hawaii is featured yeah. there oh, spain Australia. oh spain. the tree board in spain the cone oh. the cone oh, of the shark tree that's so good that's the cone or the cup. I don't know what it served in this year. I think it's still the yeah. cone this year. Yeah, that's I like so it good the cone. too. That's what we were trying to eat when we were pushing the strollers with our wine. <laughs> <laughs> Which you can't just like sip. You have to have like a fork. So then you're like pushing the double with your body as you're like trying to eat it. Like, <laughs> we're not making good choices. <laughs> So I think the moral of the story is if you're going to push a do double stroller around food and wine, make sure you get something that you can eat one-handed. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Nothing that requires a knife and fork. Um, yeah. The other thing is there's like some really cool merch every year. So mm -hmm. make sure that you check out the food and wine merch. Um, sometimes they even have like those little plates. Have you guys, do they have the plates this year? Like you can put, it'll have a little thing for your glass and then there's like a little tray. I don't know that I've seen them this year. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So. I've they might them have them. Years. I have them from before. years past. Mm -hmm. They don't fit in a lounge fly though. So I they don't, don't fit in a lounge fly. I have to put them in Brady's like backpack. Oh, his backpack. In his backpack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, also we need to let you know that it is totally acceptable to eat on top of trash cans at Food and Wine Festival. Or 100%. I have a tablecloth. If you're not it. eating on a trash can, you're not actually there. Like it's kind <laughs> of a rule. It's a requirement. No. Yeah. Someone so. remind me to bring my tablecloth for November for the trash can. Yes, <laughs> yes, please. So my kids have seen that and now they have told all their friends that mommy and all of her friends from work eat off the trash cans with the tablecloth and a candle. <laughs> it, yeah, the candle I, came along. Someone I, I, has to bring the rose this year. <laughs> luckily, a little we live here. And nobody is alarmed by this. They're like, yeah, you didn't protect it. Totally yeah. normal. Totally <laughs> normal here. <laughs> you see non-Disney people like, like what? Um, yeah. Well, so moving on from food and wine just a little bit, even though we could talk about it literally all day. This is the seasonal time, even though it's it's like kind of fall. 
there. <laughs> it is spooky it's season. Fun. There's a vibe. Spooky season for, <laughs> for sure. Definitely spooky season. And there are some seasonal treats. So, Heather, have you had any re or reasonable, no, recent seasonal, there we go, I can speak, uh, treats? I'm going to ask all know. of you, so get your, get, your, get your thoughts together. I don't know that I have had any in Magic Kingdom yet, to be honest, because we haven't done our ticket for the party yet. For the not-so-scary. Yeah. So I don't know that I have done. I don't think I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tried, um, or my kids tried the Monster Whoopie Pie at Pop Century, Ooh. and Ooh. it's caramel apple. It was really good. Ooh. Pop oh. Century always has amazing seasonal treats. Mm -hmm. It's like an unknown, like or not pop century. Art of animation. Art of animation always has a landscape of flavors. They always have the best, and they always have something vegan. Also, vegan. Oh. And yeah, good their treats. They always do. Huh. I feel like them yeah, and contemporary. Mm. Ooh, contemporary has yeah. great season. Mm -hmm. Contemporary yeah. does too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just where are you at with your with your seasonal offerings? So I unintentionally tried something seasonal. My family and I went to Animal Kingdom a couple weekends ago, and we were just like sitting at the table at Pizza Safari. And this amazing cast member came up to my six-year-old and she was like, hi, I just had a conversation with Mickey Mouse and he wanted you to have this. And she brought out like this giant chocolate chip cookie shaped like Mickey with like a Frankenstein head on, like pie oh, plate oh. and icing on it. And it was the most icing I've ever seen in my life. And I was there with my mother who was a pastry chef and she was like, we're scraping all this off, right? Um, but it was the most <laughs> delicious. The cookie was so good, but all of our faces were like painted green for hours. Um, but that was just so sweet. Her name was Montana, Aww. and I gave her a cast compliment. But it was so, so nice. And Aww. she just like saw my family sitting there, and she was like, you know what? They need some fall vibes. Here's a Frankenstein Mickey Mouse cookie. <laughs> Oh my! So it was really sweet. So I unintentionally tried something, but it was a delicious cookie. Once you took all the icing off, because it was so much. Go, <laughs> oh, Kyla. Did you guys have anything seasonal when you were just uh, when you were down there recently? Um, I don't know that we did. Um, and Heather's gonna make fun of me for this, but the ganachery in Disney Springs. <laughs> They always have good seasonal <laughs> treats. Like the chocolate will have like a skeleton on it or they have like the pinata and it will be like filled with like seasonally colored like little chocolate balls or whatever. So I always like them for like a special little yeah. treat. Didn't Indian you spice. have a seasonal churro when we were there? Did I? Oh, wait, we oh, did with Alexa. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. You and um, Alexa had it. For Alexa's bachelorette, we, we had a video. You mean for that. Emily's bachelorette? Emily's bachelorette. Oh, yeah. Alexa, yeah. Alexa didn't Alexa. have a bachelorette. I didn't There's go to a video. We went, we went to Emily. We did. We, that was videos never being posted. Um, <laughs> the the, the video, flavor yeah, was, <laughs> was like, orange cream pickle is not seasonal for fall, though. That's like summer. Oh, it was, or was it like of Florida. That's what it was. Yeah. It was oh, that's what it was. Florida. It was Taste of Florida. Yeah. So it was like all like orange citrus stuff. Yeah. But I mean, that's great too. It's in Disney Springs. And that was seasonal for that time frame, right? After, right? After yeah. Kyla took us on a meat tasting. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. I mean, I could do a whole YouTube thing on the meat tasting alone, but I'll wait for another day. I mean, we're, whenever we do a Disney <laughs> no, Springs episode, it, it's an experience. I feel like it's going to have to be the locals and Kyla for the Disney Springs. Episode. No, it just has to be Kyla. And then someone just say, okay, Kyla, and then what next? <laughs> That's literally how the night went. I had a plan. You did have a plan. That's for sure. It was an awesome plan. Oh, it was, it was good executed night. perfectly. Yeah. So I think it's, uh, everybody can but tell. But that's um, not true, though. Was it good? It was delicious. It was really good. It was really yeah, good. It was really, really good. At the and Sunshine I, Churros in, in Disney Springs. If you follow them on Instagram, you get a discount. <laughs> All the Disney they probably Springs have little churros. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so I funny. think you can tell we all hate food, right? <laughs> Obviously. We don't know anything about it. <laughs> nothing. 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 
So just wait till we're all like at, at Halloween parties and I'm going to be there on the 24th or no. I think I'm going to be there on October 24th. Yeah. I'll get some treats, post some pictures. Y'all will be there different times. Make sure you guys are following some accounts so that you can um, check out the food whenever we're all traveling. Uh, Kyla will be down there, I think. Well, I know she will be in November with a lot where all of us will be down there in November. Mm -hmm. um, three of y'all live down there. So just people should just follow you because <laughs> you guys are at the parks a lot. Um, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of, let's make sure that everybody knows where they can follow for um, not just great foodie posts, right? But all of the other thing and their adorable families, because I'm telling you what, these kids or all of these ladies are just so stinking cute. Like, <laughs> just, it's totally amazing. They are a vibe. I will say the kids are all a total vibe. <laughs> and this group all has two girls each. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's a it's lot true. of girls going on here. Yeah, girl mom. Yes. <laughs> girl mom. I got, I got the most. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, you win. Yes. You That's right. Yes, you do have more than two. You have like yeah. 100. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Five. 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 Yeah, <laughs> I did. I did count. So, all right. So, yeah. Emily, why don't you start with um, where can you know they can see your at upon a star, Emily? But yeah, tell us. Yeah. Yeah. So you any can find me at upon a star, Emily. And if you want any merchandise, if you need any merchandise, if you want things delivered to your room, treats, what have you, you can find me at bluebirdgifted.co also. And uh, yeah, find me on the Instagram and the Facebook at. Uh, upon a star, Emily, and yeah. that's where you can find me. All right, and oh, looks like Jessica dropped off, so we'll see if she ends up yep. being able to pop back on. But uh, Kyla, why don't you go ahead and go next? You can find me on Instagram at Disney Geek Twenty Seven. My email is Kyla at uponastartravel.com, and Facebook you can find me at Kyla Melbourne Travel Agent at Uponastar. Awesome. All right. Uh, Jessica, she made it back on. So, I don't know what please. just happened. Sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> That's okay. So go ahead and tell us uh, where to follow you on the socials. So on Instagram, I am at Magical Mouse Moments 21 or at Little Levine Ladies. I pretty much post the same thing at both places, but as a Disney local mom, it's kind of the same thing on both. Um, and then on Facebook, I'm Jessica L at uponastartravel.com. Awesome. And yes, uh, Heather, how about you? You can find me at the Moana Mom on Instagram and Facebook. And my email is Heather at UponAStarTravel.com. Yeah. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. And you can find me at Upon a Star Jen. And then, uh, of course, the agency at Upon a Star Travel. And then, yep, Jen at Upon a Star Travel .com. We're all pretty easy in terms of uh, how to get in touch with us. So, in any case, guys, thank you so much for joining us for this um, episode of Travel with the Stars. We love talking food. Don't worry, we'll talk more food later with more <laughs> restaurants and other things and festivals and treats and, yes, lots of it. Uh, but in all the meantime, the all of the things. But in the meantime, don't forget, you can discover a whole new world of travel here with Upon a Star. We'd love to help.